How's going everyone missed here or Nathan which I feel like call me and as of now as of this moment of recording this video There is currently 10 minutes of the beta left it is 10 to 6 and obviously the beta ends at 6 o'clock here in the UK So I don't know what time that is, you know rest of the world, but still it ends at the same time, you know globally I guess I just want to make this video because I'm trying to stack up on some uploads, you know I still want to provide you guys with some IW when we don't have access to IW anymore. That is always going to be a good thing to watch. But anyway, today I just want to talk about a huge thing that's been talked about in the sniper community a lot. It always happens. It's happened on BO3 over the course of BO3, especially like in the first couple months. People talking about PS4 and Xbox lobbies, you know, which console's easier, which console has the worst players to play against, and, you know, no thumb plays, stuff like that. So, pretty much, I just want to talk about that a little bit. You know, not too much because I can't really give a final decision on, you know, who has easier consoles, but I can tell you guys straight away that PlayStation 4 players are way more consistent than Xbox players. I don't know if that's because they're just better in general, or they have easier lobbies. I'm not gonna lie, like, I think it's a mixture of both. Like, there's a, obviously a good amount of plays on PS4 because PS4, you know, is gonna be getting everything earlier than Xbox like they did on BO3, so there's gonna be a lot more people on that console. Now, does that mean there's going to be, you know, worse plays on that console as well? I don't know that, like, I can't tell you guys that, but... The thing is, a lot of people are still hitting clips, you know, whether or not you're on Xbox or on PS4, so I don't think that's too big of a problem because people are hitting clips. Some of you guys were also wondering, like, I've been asked this question so much about why I'm not on PlayStation for the second weekend, but I was on the first weekend, obviously, because it's only accessible on PS4 on the first weekend, and pretty much the reason for that is the PS4 in the house is my little brother's. And he plays that thing like non-stop like I play Xbox pretty much. He was nice enough to let me play for that one weekend. And then I asked him if I could play on the second weekend because I prefer to, you know, have access to everything that I had before on PS4. I was already ranked up and everything. I didn't want to start again on Xbox One. But he said no. The kid's addicted to Overwatch on the game. So, so you know, that's all he plays pretty much. So I'll, you know, let slide, I guess. I've already asked him if he wants to swap consoles. Again, the answer is no. I wish it was a yes, but... You know, we out here struggling. Yeah, that's pretty much the reason why I wasn't on PS4 because a lot of people were actually wondering that. I wish I could be, obviously. That's just circumstances. But anyway, a lot of people have also been asking me, am I going to be buying a PS4? Because obviously, PS4 is going to be getting the map packs early. I've been tweeting about wanting to get a PS4 for so long now. Since playing the beta on the PS4 the first weekend. But as of now, I'm not really going to get the PS4. Maybe, probably Christmas time because I really want to do still move to PS4. Everybody's you know, telling me to do it as well. I can play with a lot more friends, I can play with a lot more people that I want to play with, that I never, you know, had the chance to play with, some really good players. I want to be a part of that PS4 gang, I don't really want to be stuck on Xbox playing with no one. Like, I know my playing solo, I've been playing solo for a long ass time anyway, so that's not really a big issue for me. But the whole map packs thing, I can't go through another year of getting the map packs a month late and, you know, not being able to make the videos that I want to make and, yeah, be struggling pretty much. Overall, our Xbox lobbies harder than PS4 lobbies. We won't probably know that until, you know, the full game releases and we actually get to play for a decent amount of time. But, yeah, as of now, there's a lot more consistent plays on PS4. I think everybody knows that because... You know, you just scroll through Twitter. The people that are hitting the most quad headshot feeds are on PS4. The better snipers are on PS4. Yeah. I don't really know what else to say. I don't really know which console is better, but I will definitely be moving to the PS4. You guys can bet on that. Maybe Christmas time, something like that. You know, obviously, get some money from Christmas. Sell my Xbox. Get a PS4. It'll be lit as fuck, but... I'm pretty much happy with like how I played over this weekend anyway on Xbox. I really do enjoy seeing my gamer tag instead of the Miz 98. Even though the Miz 98 does look cool, even though I did copy Sprat with the uh, 98, but even though he has a 93, yeah. Thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully this kind of helped you with your withdrawals from not being able to play Infinite Warfare because I only have a minute left to play it, but it'll probably be on for like a little bit longer. That could have been my last game, who knows. Thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new, drop a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you all on the next upload, which I do not know what it will be, but it will be the next upload. Bye guys.